Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Seso here, bringing us a video here today, bringing you guys a Blender slash Photoshop tutorial on how to create your very uncool 3D Minecraft series thumbnails. So if you guys know, I have no idea whatsoever, but I do mask uh, or nade shots, um, Minecraft thumbnails and stuff like that. So I had to learn how to do a little bit of that 3D modeling rig with the whole uh, Blender stuff. But the Blender is free and all that cool stuff. I will have the download to the Blender uh, version that I'm using alongside with the actual, uh, how do you say, the rig um, that you guys will be seeing, that you guys will put inside Blender. And just whatever skin you guys want to use, I'm going to be using a skin that kind of like has, you know, I mean, if you couldn't tell. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, though, everything should be pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, the thumbnail itself is just really honestly highlighting the actual character alongside and most likely going to be your skin in game and alongside with like having a really cool little typography kind of setup for your actual series text. So with that being said, 275 likes. You guys killed it last time. There's no reason why you won't be able to do it again. But um, I will give you guys a pretty cool uh, method of how to actually make your own. How do you say? like taking how you see my current um text and i'll give you guys a preset that you all have to do is change one word it should change everything and make it look something really, really close to exactly what you guys see right here so uh, yeah with that being said let's get this thing going and uh yeah let's just do it all right guys so go ahead and get it started i'm gonna of course start on the actual 3d character part so when you guys were to open up blender the first things you guys will see is basically a nice little cube alongside a little light uh, a little light and a world and your scene all that good stuff so as a, as a cube right we're gonna be uh, deleting this in a second but however i would like for you guys to know how to actually maneuver inside the actual program now for me personally i thought was kind of weird um it's definitely not like center 40 whatsoever however the middle click and your actual mouse button is going to be your actual favorite thing ever so when you guys click right on your middle click uh, scroll wheel you can see it just moves in a full rotation if you guys click and hold and move as you guys can see now you can also right oh let me just put this back to where it should be right if you also hold shift while you actually select this click on your actual scroll wheel right shift scroll wheel it'll move your actual entire canvas and view pan uh nice and up and down so you can get some more different angles um alongside with if you guys were to actually zoom in of course it's just as simple as zooming in with your scroll wheel and uh yeah i think that's about it besides the fact when you move things it's not left click okay so when you guys click and try to move things this is it's like a tar it's like a weird targeting thing <laughs> is what happens here however to actually click and move things you actually have to right click hold it start dragging it you can then let go of right click by the way um but as you can see if i actually press right click again to try to like place it as you would probably think right it actually resets the position so what you guys have to do is right click hold it move it right and then when you want to place things in a certain position you just then uh one of you guys of course i'm not holding anything right now i then press left click and then actually place in that area right alongside with r is basically how you guys rotate so if you guys press r you can see you can rotate in the orientation that you guys actually start your, uh, your rotation in but if you press r twice so this would be my first time i pressed it i'm gonna press it one more time just like so you can then see it rotates at a more of a natural kind of state so with all that being said that's pretty much how you guys would get through the, the actual movement which is actually pretty important when it comes to a new program that you guys are not used to most likely and uh yeah to delete you have to press x right and you guys see this part little press x okay right we're just gonna press it just like so and now we can actually get started let's do it so <clears throat> you guys want to go to file append right now this is where you should get uh you should be able to find all your minecraft things you guys download for the rigs so for me i'm going to go under uh, minecraft simple rig dot blend right you're going to double click on that or simple click right and then you guys look at all these different other uh groups and you want to go to um the actual group folder right and in the group uh group folder is the actual character model you then want to click on it and press append from library now in a lot of the different versions i've seen you guys want to go to file right user preferences Go to system and make sure you have uh, MIP maps unselected, which is basically a kind of a rendered blurred uh, version of the actual render that it should look like. But then if you guys were to take it off, it basically kind of gives it in your full render quality alongside with going ahead and just exiting that out. And by the way, right now, my Minecraft character's skin itself should actually show Steve or something or a different skin, um, which you guys want to do, right? Also, you want to change Blender Render to uh, uh, Cycles Render, by the way, right? So what you want to do is you guys click on this little circle right here, Method to Display, right? You guys want to make sure you go to either uh, Texture, sometimes it's either Texture or Material. Um, I have no idea why it switches for me. As you guys know, I'm kind of like new to Blender itself, but... Uh, if you guys don't know why it switches if you maybe want if you want to tell me if you guys know um however if it's not under actual uh, texture it might be under material either one's perfectly fine but for me i can just hover over texture and it'll go ahead and actually show me the actual skin now to actually change the skin you guys want to go ahead and right click on your character right then if you guys you'll see you have all these other different tabs that pop up if you guys do not right click on your character by the way you guys will simply not see these different tabs so make sure you guys right click on the character right you go to your materials tab and then what you guys will see is your character material alongside with the actual color being the actual image skin that you guys will be able to actually put into blender right so for me you want to click on the second little last second to last uh basically little icon here right you click on it 
Then you want to go to uh, uh, write while, excuse me, write file to current directory. You press that just like so. And then what you can do now is actually open an image. And I'm going to go ahead and find where I put mine. All right. So when you guys find your images, mine is right here. I'm going to press open image just like so. And you guys will see your character will now be inside, but it will look really, really weird. What you want to do now is once you have your character uh, skin loaded in, right, you want to go to the second tab or excuse me, the tab right to its left, right, which is called type of active data to display. You want to click on that and make sure you guys go to where it says UV maps. If it's not actually down clicked, make sure you guys open the actual group. Um, you guys want to go to uh, one point uh, zero skin and also make sure that this camera is on this first one and then you're pretty much good to go so now you should be able to see exactly your skin that you guys actually downloaded from minecraft or make your own or whatever from like a skin editor and you should be good to go uh, kind of excuse me you should be good to go period there you go <laughs> okay um so if i go to uh this character right here this little character kind of t-pose thing if you guys were to click on the actual t-pose icon you can then actually right click and select different joints right so with these different joints what you guys want to do like i said before in the beginning is when you select a joint you press r on your keyboard i like to personally press it twice just like so to get myself a nice little kind of like just a better uh kind of control right then i'll rotate my camera i'll click on the actual hand r twice kind of move like that right we're just kind of kind of like mess around with it for a second okay and like this why not right it's very it's actually super super simple right just simply just pressing r twice and then kind of just rotating whatever way i want and then yep there we go just kind of like i'm, I'm just kind of doing whatever right now pretty much right now the cool part about uh actual blender is if you guys want to actually see a preview of the actual render itself which i like to sometimes see of course to actually see it in its actual quality that it should be in excuse me that was probably a handful or a mouthful but if you guys click over here you can actually click on the actual viewport to be rendered so if i click on this you'll be able to see the actual render of the actual minecraft skin in its full quality so this is a pretty good position i'm, just, I'm not going to mess around with it too much you guys should definitely 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 just go ahead like have a whole bunch of fun and actually understand the whole rotation tool it might not be easy at first however it's not too hard whatsoever so if i were to just click back on this go back to textured right you can just see i'm simply just right clicking on the actual joint just like so you'll see it highlights then i press r twice and i move it so it's actually super super simple and uh yeah hope that's just kind of like how you do that but as you guys saw when i actually rendered it out the actual let me just do it again right the actual scene itself is very very dark so the way i'm going to fix that is i'm going to put back on texture right <laughs> so i'm going to middle click somewhere outside the canvas and i'm going to press shift a what shift a does is it lets me add different other objects into the actual scene i'm gonna go to mesh and i'm gonna go to plane just like so right so with this plane now i'm gonna rotate this or my camera a little bit with this plane i'm gonna go to the materials tab once again which is this nice little sphere icon we're gonna press new right we're gonna go to color here we're gonna keep it on white uh so that should be the default color by the way and you're also gonna change the surface to which uh emission just like so right so emission you want to change your color to white if it's not white already but it should be and your strength should be around 7 to 7.5 anything higher is mostly gonna give you a really big like honest like a weird look to it so i can just take it right click move it over remember left click to actually select and put a uh, place right i'm gonna press r on my keyboard give it a nice little rotate just like so kind of rotated on my character that's a really weird angle hold on let me go back uh rotate there we go it's just a little bit better it's a little bit difficult to rotate it but drag it up a little bit more and now if i go ahead and kind of center my actual view again you guys will see if i just go ahead and go to rendered right the scene in itself would actually be a lot more bright so it's actually super super simple to add a light and uh yeah i'm just gonna show you guys now how to render because it's a little bit kind of weird and uh or if you guys want to what i personally kind of do because i'm like sometimes on a rush i literally just like print screen it and just take it and just throw it in photoshop like that's just how i do it but i want to show you guys actually how to render it so let's just go ahead and do that right quick if you guys want to know all right guys so now if you guys want to actually know how to actually render it i get it my my my, my method might probably like too lazy for you guys i don't know but if you guys want to learn how to actually render it what you guys want to end up uh, knowing of course is actually if you guys do not have a numpad zero on the keyboard i have no idea where the shortcut is otherwise i apologize but it is numpad zero on your keyboard to actually go into the view of your actual camera view right so this camera view right here is if i were to actually press render image right now right you should be able to see that it actually comes in that angle right that's where my camera is currently i'm going to press exit or escape excuse me i'm gonna zoom out for a second if i show you guys the camera like i said is right over here so if i press zero once again right now this little uh transformation uh how do you say tab is open by just pressing n on your keyboard by the way so when you guys do this you want to make sure you guys click the lock camera to view okay and then you can of course use your regular movement tools right your regular movement like you want to zoom in with your scroll wheel you want to hold shift move it around right I'm gonna get it into a spot where I'm gonna be pretty satisfied. Now, if this thing's in the way, I'm gonna go ahead, press zero once again to get out of that view, 
I'm gonna take this, just move it outside my camera view, just like so, go back into my camera view, and then say, okay, once I'm good, and I think I am <coughs> with this angle right here. So this is the exact angle once I'm in my camera view with it, what will, excuse me, how it'll actually render, right? So now ask your render settings. They are under the actual little camera icon, okay? So it's your camera icon. You wanna make sure you guys, uh, your settings are as followed. Now, um, if you guys have a GPU in your computer, which most likely, well, I guess it's 2019, most of, the, most of you guys do have some. Um, if it's better than your CPU, uh, usually, hopefully, sometimes it is, um, make sure you guys use GPU compute as your actual device supporting how you guys render it. So it renders, of course, faster, right? You want the fastest render possible, okay? As for resolution, it's like 20 by 1080, pretty much thumbnail quality, as you guys know. And alongside with this little bar right here, if you guys, I believe it's not default 100%. So if you guys want to, make sure you guys put this all the way up to 100%, alongside with also going to the actual film and making sure your, uh, your background is actually transparent. Um, of, of course, it'll save you guys some time when you guys cut it out, all that good stuff. And as for your, how do you say, your writing settings or where it actually writes to, you guys want to go ahead and just click on this folder just like so. I'm going to go to where it says craft renders accept it right and this is going to be where my actual location will be when i actually open and save my image and all that good stuff right so you guys have your angle all that good stuff i keep saying good stuff i'm just going to render the and <laughs> render the image right when you guys render the image i'm going to take a little second um not the best gpu in the world i should probably upgrade my pc so we're, gonna, we're just going to sit here together and hopefully maybe take this time right here right at this time to uh, like the video if you guys haven't subscribed make sure you guys subscribe already um all that good stuff i just i have fun we have fun and uh yeah uh, also, this isn't guy not look like me besides the blue eyes. I mean, I'm just saying, just saying, pretty good look at Minecraft character. <laughs> okay, so once this baby renders out, as you can see, it has a checkered background, which is, of course, just means it's actually transparent, which means we've uh, been successful in rendering it. You guys have then press F3 on your keyboard to then go ahead and save it. Now I'm going to go back and go ahead and save it where I should be, which should be craft renders, right? And I can just kind of title it up here. We're just going to call it render one right and we press save as image and pretty much as you guys know we guys go into your directory it'll be in there all that good stuff so let's go ahead and move this uh, now image into photoshop and now end the video in photoshop all right guys so you basically now have our render inside with an also another picture inside our photoshop and uh yeah so by the way the render itself very simple right you can see looks really good i'm pretty happy how the outcome came now the background itself i'm just i went to uh, google right i typed in minecraft background i typed in to make sure i had the size being uh large right so of course that just kind of gives you guys the best quality possible you guys can basically take your own screenshots as well i believe it's like f like 3 or 12 or whatever it's one of the f keys in uh, minecraft to actually take your own pictures now I would heavily advise you guys, since basically Minecraft is a whole bunch of blues and greens, I would heavily advise you guys to use filter camera footer raw on your actual images, right? I already have mine here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just like, I'm just gonna like, like turn it off and on for a second. As you can see how mine, my blue sky, it turns way more bluer, way more uh, vivid, right? My greens are a little bit more changed. Now, if you guys would like to do that as well, I would go to filter camera filter raw, or camera raw filter, right? Now, if you guys wanna also do that, make sure you guys right click on your actual background and make sure you convert it into a smart object. That way, like how you guys can see mine, you can see my camera footer raw, I can double click on it. If you guys did not have your, uh, uh, if you not have your image as a smart object, you then will not be able to go back into it. You have to basically go all the way back by pressing Control Alt Z. That's kind of tedious. Sometimes you want to change like one simple thing. Um, but yeah, just saves you guys a lot of time, right? Once you guys open uh, Camera Raw Filter, you guys will see your settings are just something like this, right? Now, for me, I would put your clarity up by like 28% or so. Um, basically, clarity itself is like almost like a sharpening and a and a contrast put together. Okay. Now, what you guys want to also do is under your fourth tab, which is HSL adjustments, hue, saturation, and luminance adjustments. If you guys can see my saturation, if I go to my saturation tab at first, I would start off with this. Now, if I you see, if I have my blues already at 68 uh, percent, basically, if I put it back to this zero, right? The sky itself is very dull. I wanted to say, hey, I'm gonna just take this, put this up a little bit, and it looks way way better, just like so. Right, 68. Put my greens up a little bit. The hue. Now the hue is actually changing the color a little bit. So you can see my sky right now is like a nice little baby blue. This is a dark blue. I personally like baby blue. If you go more to the left, you get more of that baby blue feel. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep mine where I had before, some around 18 or so. Looks really good. Alongside my greens and any other color that you guys want to change and mess around with, please do so. It makes your thumbnail look way way better. Right. I can then press OK. So now I have my colors looking really, really nice on my thumbnail alongside with having my render now inside. I can then go ahead, make my render, excuse me, render a little bit bigger, just like so, just a little bit bigger. 
I'm gonna toss on a very simple two things on my render, which will be inner glow, which should be the actual skin tone of your actual character, right? The color that you guys select. Alongside with having a linear dodge add as your blend mode, and the opacity itself can be, of course, changed to your preferred number. I have mine at 95%. Now, stroke is on one, and your size is on 13. And also wanna have on a gradient overlay, soft light, 15%. Also, uh, and your actual colors are, are simply, are simply, excuse me, black to white, good to go. The angle that I have is mine on negative 28. If you guys want to make it like different, something like this, maybe like, ooh, 115 is pretty good. Scale, 100%, and press OK. Now that is basically your Minecraft uh, little simple settings that you guys put on that. So, for your text, super, super simple, actually. I'm going to hide the render for a second. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to type in the word Minecraft. Minecraft, oops, Minecraft. Okay. Right now, the Minecraft um, uh, Minecraft font that I'm using is Minecraft Dirt. There you go. Right. So this font right here, I'm gonna go ahead and change it to a nice little yellow. Okay. Now with this yellow, I have currently F1D265. Change it to any color that you guys want. Of course, I'm gonna use this yellow though for my color. Okay. Now with this yellow, I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this actual Minecraft text. Now, also, if you guys do not know, a little, little, little tip right here, if you guys are actually type in lowercase, whatever font you guys are using, and you guys want to make it actually uh, uppercase, right? Uh, without typing it out again, which is sometimes what I do a lot, if you guys have your characters table, which is window, by the way, character, just simply just click on this double T. It'll make a capital, just so you guys know, just so you guys know, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead, go over here. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and put on a drop shadow. Now with this drop shadow, I wanna make sure I have my actual size or my distance at zero. My spread is at 100 and my size is at 18. Now for some reason, I don't think I saw my preview. Uh, there we go. Now, there you go, the preview showing now. So distance zero, like I said, spread 100 and size 18. Uh, I'm gonna put it to like 20, maybe. I think 20 is a pretty good um, number. Now for your color, you wanna make sure you select it. Select the same yellow you guys had or whatever color you guys basically had. Take the hue bar here. Make it pretty much pretty darker, right? Just go by going down or going up, depending on your color, right? Just make it a different color, but also then taking this actual circle, moving it down here towards the bottom right and getting a nice contrast to your actual main color. I'm gonna go ahead and say, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna press okay, press okay again. Now what you guys wanna go ahead and do is you wanna take your alt key, you wanna hold alt, take your Minecraft text and you wanna select it and drag it below it, it'll make a duplicate right below your actual text that says Minecraft, right? You can hold then shift on your keyboard, okay? Move it down a little bit. You guys will see this is the same exact copy. Now what you wanna do with your copy image, right click it, convert it to a smart object. This will basically combine all the settings together. So basically the width of that stroke that you guys have will actually stay, right? Convert it to a smart object, double click on it, right? Double click on it, color overlay, click the actual color, select the stroke color this time, and then just make the stroke color, it's a little darker. Just give a nice little contrast. There we go, press okay, press okay again. Now, of course, the further you move your mouse down is, of course, it's not your mouse, the further you move your actual text down is the more depth that this has right here, and the kind of like more cooler it looks, but I'm gonna kind of keep it more towards the middle. I think this is pretty good. Now, what I wanna add on this actual Minecraft copy text, which has that nice darker color on it, is one being an inner glow. Now, this inner glow, I'm gonna choose this color, like so, just like so, choosing this color, move it up a little bit, Right, have your bundle and linear dodge add, take your uh, opacity, just lower it down a bit, right? And then go to satin here and just take this, just kind of move this around so you get a pretty good kind of like, almost like a 3D-esque kind of look to it if you guys were doing like Sim 4D or something like that, right? Multiply bend mode, black color, and just take your opacity. I'm gonna put it on 42. So I have 42, 35, 79 for my size. I think this is pretty good. Press okay, okay? Now, on my original text before, all I have right now is a drop shadow. I want to put on one uh, another thing, which is the inner glow. So for the inner glow, I want to take this, click on the actual yellow, move this over towards the left a little bit, press OK. Opacity can stay for now. I'm going to take my uh, size, though, just kind of use my scroll wheel to make my numbers go down. And I think 6 is pretty good as well. So I'm going to go at 6. I'm going to press OK. And I think this is a pretty good start to my first text. I'm gonna put two. So I'm gonna put Minecraft and then thumbnail on the bottom, and then we're gonna end this video. So with this, I'm gonna just do this one more time, and I'm gonna speed this little part up. Uh, before I do that, I'm just, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna be using different font. I'm gonna be using Gotham Narrow. Okay, now, once your text is done, all you can then do, I'm just gonna put this on one little group text, just like so by pressing Control G to group things together. Okay, I'm gonna take my text here and put it like wherever it needs, I think it needs to be. 
I think right about here is pretty good. So you can then, of course, you can either put your render back in, right? You can put it right in the middle. I'm going to put it above this, though, right? Of course, be wary, fool, if you guys are going to put it above the actual text, that if the text is at least somewhat readable, or, of course, your title itself is catchy, and your thumbnail just wants to be kind of pretty looking, right? Now, keep in mind, what you can do as well is put your Minecraft render on the right-hand side, put your text on the left-hand side, and then wait, wait. There we go. <laughs> Take this, right? Take a little, you can take a little webcam here, just put it on the nice little corner. You can add a little reaction, like quotes, like, oh my God, kind of thing, like how Courage does a little bit, right? Looks pretty good. If you guys don't want to do that, that's fine. I'm not going to do it for this video, but take my text, put it in the middle, take my character, put it in the middle as well, okay? Now, make a new layer, just like so, pressing B on my keyboard, selecting this yellow on the actual text, right? On this new layer, I'm going to change the blend mode to linear dodge add, and I'm just going to simply click a couple times on the text itself, right? I'm going to press E for the eraser. Now, if the color doesn't look quite good, this right here does not look quite good, I'm going to press Control u on the keyboard, take the hue bar, move it left and right until I find a color that actually looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and say, moving it this way, maybe you can move, you might have to move the lightness and the saturation a little bit up as well. That looks way better. I like how that looks. I'm going to take my lightness, put this up a little bit. Okay, I'm a fan of that. Press OK. Sweet. So I think this looks pretty good. Um, I think what else I did, okay, oh yeah, what else I did, cool. So. What else I did, uh, how, excuse me, English is hard sometimes. What I did as well, there you go, is combined all this stuff together. So once you have that nice little simple light on that one text, you can put it on your character as well if you guys choose a different color. I'm going to keep it like this though. And then I'm going to click on the first layer, which is this little light layer. Hold shift, click on everything. So including the actual background layer to uh, uh, actually select everything in between. Press control J in the keyboard to make a duplicate, right? And then press control E in your keyboard to merge it all together. And now what you want to do then is go to cut, convert to a smart object, right? Filter, camera filter raw, just like so, right? You zoom in a little bit. You can press this little Y here to see before and afters. And I'm going to go ahead and take my, uh, my exposure, put this up a bit. Take my highlights, put this up a little bit. Shadows down a bit. Uh, blacks down a bit, right? Take my clarity, put it up just a little bit. 10, because we already put some on the background. Take my vibrance, put this up quite a bit. I'll say about 50 or so is pretty good. Press OK. And you guys can see you have a pretty catchy looking thumbnail, right? So with all this being said, of course, there's a lot of space for improvements in your own little work. Mine's kind of like rushed, I would say. Um, so you can put some fun little elements like a Minecraft like pickaxes, little PNGs of different things. Like I said before, you can put your webcam in a corner, um, put some little like kind of quotes which you said in the video to kind of get some like, like, oh my God, there's no way he did this kind of thing. It's got to grab some more attention. Um, yeah, with that being said though, guys, that's it for me in today's video. So hope you guys do enjoy. Do not forget to leave a like on the video. Like I said before in the beginning of the video, 275 likes equals a secret down below, which most likely be the actual text of effect um that you guys will see in this video right now but just kind of quickly done for you we got uh, for you guys we'll have to do is change one uh letter or word something like that right and uh yeah i love you guys so very much i appreciate you guys for watching and i'll talk to you guys later since my hq out do not forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later much love holy shit i just noticed this there's no way i did this on purpose mm -hmm.